Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here. Today we're going to be talking about head protection and uh, what we uh, use in TPLA. Um, if you've watched any of our videos, you probably can guess by now I'm going to be talking about these guys here, fencing helmets, because we use these almost exclusively. And the reason we do is because they are as close to ideal as we can come at this moment. Um, they offer excellent protection for both your head, face, eyes. Um, as, as I go into it, you can see we can get things to add on to them that's going to give you neck protection, all of that. But they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can get them for about 60 bucks on Amazon um, and in different places. Uh, so they're very, very affordable. Um, Basically, what they are is just a steel cage, and putting that on your face and head is the, the best thing for it. Now, they do have this on the back, which does offer some back-of-the-head protection, but I often recommend getting a hood, um, and I'll show you that here. Okay, so when we look at the hood, this is just a regular fencing mask underneath a hood, okay? And these are usually called HEMA hoods, historical European martial arts. This one has a little bit of shoulder protection right here. Um, and then of course, back of the head protection. So this will give you full here. Now I do recommend getting a hood even if you don't think you're gonna be hitting that hard or whatever because um, this is actually easier on the sabers on your blades so you go through a little less blades that way. So this is another type of hood uh, that I got from Purple Heart Armory. Um, it's also HEMA but it has a couple of more a couple of features. Um, it can go here. This is again just one of those simple fencing helmets underneath here. I painted the face, put this hood on it. Um, so it's got this kind of adjustable strap in the back. It'll get a little bit better coverage a little bit better neck coverage, and it has a plate right there over the throat, so it provides excellent protection for both the head and the neck um, in, in that way. So uh, that's our recommendation. Now, sometimes hockey helmets will work, but you do need extra eye protection and extra face protection. Grills on the on the face have to be small enough that they do not allow a saber to go in at any angle, um, any of that. Uh, but as far as regulations go, when we start having tournaments, which we may be starting to have pretty soon here, guys, um, if we can get enough interest, um, fencing helmets will probably be the safest bet. Um, they are the most reliable and available. So. Uh, Paintball helmets, we're not really a big fan of the paintball helmets. They're not really meant to take a whole lot of blunt force. Um, there's lots of areas where you can just cave it right in if you hit it just right, which means it's offering zero protection to your head or whatever. Um, they're generally a little light. Anything with a plastic shield instead of the mesh, like on a, on a fencing helmet, tends to fog up and then you tend to have to use it. Um, we had uh, some of the Taekwondo helmets that had a face shield we had some problems with is they would break off on the soft part of the of the mask and then the hard plastic visor would would go in and kind of uh, nick, nick the head. So a lot of these things that aren't kind of rated for weapons work or rated for high impact and stuff like that, we really want to avoid. Um, motorcycle helmets, of course, would be fine. They're extremely heavy and probably would throw you off a lot more. Um, so there you go. Anyway, so that's a little bit on head protection. Uh, go out there, keep your, keep your head safe. Uh, remember, if you're going to be doing any two-person stuff, gear up. Um, and if, especially if you're just learning, if you're just learning, take it slow. Don't go in to start free fighting all the way. Do your drills, do your basics, even with two people. Just run through some nice little uh, velocities or, or, or two-person drills um, before you start getting into the uh, real off-the-wall stuff. Anyway, all right, so until next time, stay safe and happy sabering.